Well, I finally got some kits from the Gundam Battlelog series. It took a while because I live in Canada, and unlike the States, I couldn't walk into a Target near me because we had Targets a couple years ago. They failed. Anyways, first kit I built was the uh, Blazing Gundam, which is heavily modified off the God Gundam high grade, which I think was like 2010. So, 12 year old kit as a base, you'd think would be a bad idea. But they, they were doing pretty good at that time, and it is a mobile fighter, so I guess it does kind of make sense it has decent articulation, not as good as it could be. If they did a revive God Gundam, this thing would be, well, it, I mean, it should be uh, top tier in terms of articulation. But it's still okay, limited elbows, angles could be better, uh, they'd probably give you a torso joint. I like the fact that there's a spacer in there, you can see uh, the details, not like it's just a gap. We see the other side, so I, I appreciate that. And the uh, the remolding is ex extensive. There's quite a few new pieces to make it look unique. I really like the head. Uh, this version of the head gives me a rising gun feel. Uh, anybody know why there's holes in the chest? Because this is a new chest piece. Is there something that was supposed to come out that didn't come out? Or might I miss something in the instructions? Uh, I don't know. I love that they took the wings off the backpack and just made little teeny ones that open up. So you got like some opening up like the, not exactly the same, but like the Shining Gundam, but in the God Gundam form. I appreciate it. And then they took uh, the gauntlets, moved them down here, but they're not just remolded, or they're not just re um, moved down, like say the one, what was it? Uh, one to 100 uh, seed kits from the Librarian Works, which are like literally just take a piece, move it over, take another piece, move it over. No, they redid the whole piece. It is completely different. It's from an ankle guard or an arrest guard to ankle armor. And they still give it a little flip-up piece. Where here there were two, and now there's one. A very nice attention to detail. I appreciate it. And of course you got those uh beam tantas. That's I'm assuming that's what they're called. Which look cool, but you could have you probably saw it as I was handling it. The pegs don't hold that well on the backpack. At least not on mine. Maybe yours is better. Who knows? Uh, you've also got this beam foot, which is pretty simple to swap because you just have to slide off the armor. It's not like pegged around the foot. I appreciate that. You just slide it on, slide it off. And now you got a, a blazing kick instead of a burning or a god finger. And you still have the beam effect, so you can make these into the beam tafas. And I mean, they'd still work without the beam, but beams are better. No idea if it could actually fire these as beam rifles. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think it did it in the show, but you got that. Uh, they still include the uh, God Gundam pose uh, God fingers, just not an orange. I think they came in both colors on the original. It's been a while. It's, it's been 12 years since I built it. And the one thing I also like that is included is an alternate faceplate. Basically, it's supposed to be a mask. Unfortunately, it doesn't go on it like a mask. I really thought it would. Uh, you have to pull off the front of the face, the top front of the where the cameras are, and swap the V-fit onto here, and then plug it in. And then it's on there, and I just I don't like the part uh, swapping, especially with little teeny forehead piece that could easily uh, disappear. When you're swapping them out and with it on you got a pretty good looking face unfortunately like I said um, like I said it's uh gotta do some parts for me I wouldn't mind personally if the head was a little bigger like the mask was a little bigger to actually slide on or if they give you two heads two heads would have been nice this uh, I mean whatever I like both but I think I'm gonna keep it with the unmasked head personally personal preference Oh, and you still got the beam savers, the original ones from the God Gun, if you want to use those. So, Tafas, beam savers, it's a, it's a fighter. And it, it, it'll look good with your other fighters. Here's a Shining Gundam. I couldn't get to my God Gundam, but here's the Master Gundam too. So, it'll look good if you want to have it with the other battle log, or if you want to have add your, improve your G Gundam uh, uh, display, because we don't have a whole bunch. So, I'd say pick it up. 